Now, you look at uh, the moment Tinubu snubbed uh, Sibanjo while the counting of the votes is on and the becoming of and the man is cruising to victory. You can see the old man Tinubu going to beat the fellow old man. See the way he snubbed uh, Sibanjo, the vice president. Sibanjo just stood up. To greet him. Yeah, it's not being on the job to Aisha Bugare. Then to the next Tunubu. person, I think the APC National Chairman. Yemi and the man just Simbajo. walked out, walked on. Tunubu. See the way the man that came after him greeted uh, Simbajo then to Bugare. Just wait for it when he Bola, called back. Tunubu. To, rem to be reminded that Professor he has not the vice president. Roti me. Look at the way the man is staggering. He's struggling to. He saw the way that guy on white and red cap had to show that he, so that he wouldn't uh, fall off. So he saw, he saw that. That is the man that wants to become Ahmed. president of Nigeria. Now, he has just passed Ahmed. the vice president and he was just told by this man Ahmed, Bola, that you snubbed Tunubu. the vice president. You see that? Tunubu. Now you have to go back to greet Osibaji. <laughs> this APC ship will record. Ahmed, the Bola, drama is just Tunubu. Bola Ahmed Tinubu, 1,271. Obviously, this man is cruising to victory of APC presidential flag Biara. It is becoming obvious that uh, Tinubu is cruising to victory from the result we've seen so far. From the result we've seen so far, it is obvious that Tinubu is cruising to victory, getting about 1,271 votes. Tinubu has been confirmed the winner of the APC presidential primary election holding right now in Abuja. That is the breaking news. Tinubu, having scored 1,271 votes, has just been declared the winner of APC presidential election. Dollars speak. The delegates vote according to the size of the dollar. Oh my God, this will be a really good presidential election come 2023. But I can tell you, the um, dollar can speak for them in their primaries, they and their cohorts, the kind of politicians that are members of political parties, all for the money they get and share. But by 2023, with the ballot revolution, my people, we are ready for them. Let them bring the dollars, we are ready for them. Let them bring the money they have stolen, we will collect it from them and we will vote against them. Nigeria is in level and come 2023, it will deliver. The outcome is in your hand, it is in my hand. Go and get your PBC and get ready for this man. I'm only as a voice delivering the message to all Nigerians. Nigerians who are victims of the impunity and corrupt system in Nigeria. Nigerians who have been held down by corrupt old recycled political class in Nigeria. Get ready to get them out of office come 2023. The ballot revolution. Nigeria is a level. 
What it will deliver next year depends on you. Go and get your PVC. Peter will be is not just contesting an election. He is leading a movement to free Nigerians from the hands of wicked, oppressive, corrupt political class. Be a part of this revolution. Revolution is in the air. Nigerians who are victims of impunity in government by corrupt political class are fed up. They want their lives back. They want the security of their lives and properties. They want to put an end to medical trips abroad by political class and their families. They are fed up with collapsed health care service of Nigerian hospitals. They are fed up with collapsed education system of Nigerian schools. They are fed up with joblessness of youths who are being pushed to the extreme to survive. The Biafrans, the Oduduwas, the Arawas, and all the ethnic nationalities in Nigeria are fed up with the failed state called Nigeria. It is time. On this day, we march for Peter. One million of us. All not from Twitter. For a common cause. From across Nigeria. We march from home. We march for hope. There is no part that will not get this message. Secretariat. Vote for the solution.